father, son, connecting, reconnecting, which is just as well being mother and daughter. But it's also about baseball and baseball's power to connect and matter through generations. Somebody had to lay that out, and that's what James Earl did. Yeah, I think that um, James Earl Jones did something that that even people who played the game couldn't do. Uh, people who described the game on a daily basis couldn't do. He created a level of poetry that that marked this game that we love, but we don't know how to quite ex quite explain. You know, baseball's long. It takes a long time to play it. Somehow James Earl Jones did what we could He described what we love. Um, but before I finish here, you know, you see great things, and I have to say that Build the Dreams is a, is a great movie. It's just a great movie, and sometimes we see things and we respond to them, and we, we re you see the Empire State Building, it was, it was something we responded to as a nation. You see the Golden Gate Bridge, you respond to it as a nation, and I can go down the list of man-made things. And uh, there's a person here that's not here tonight, and uh, he's not on the stage, and his name is Phil Robinson. And he took this book that defied imagination, really, men walking out of the cornfield. Um, and he thought it could be a movie. And he thought so much that it could be a movie, that he didn't care what other people thought. And so he began to write it. And when he was done, he tried to convince Hollywood that it could be a movie. And then most, most people, people didn't want to take this movie, but at some point, his own single force of will, uh, he convinced Universal Studios to make Field of Dreams. And Phil Robinson, uh, I often give way too much credit to the movies that I've been in. Uh, Kevin Costner, Field of Dreams. I'm proud to be a been in Field of Dreams. But I didn't make Field of Dreams. I was a part of it. Phil Robinson wrote it, and he directed it. He's not here tonight, uh, and uh, we all have him to thank. We're going to bundle up now. I think we're going to get our own lawn chairs. We're going to stare at a movie. Maybe the fireflies will come. I don't know. Uh, but my children have never seen Phil the Dream. They don't even really know what I do. I think... My, my children think I live in a trailer. <laughs> because that's what I do when I make a movie. I'm in a trailer. So, I'm going to go get my coat. I imagine you're going to get your coat. I'm going to get really close to the people that I love. I'm going to think before the movie starts about the people who made a difference to me in my life. Uh, the people I made the movie with. I'm going to sit in a little cornfield in Iowa. These lights are going to go out. We're going to watch a movie, and I don't think there's anything more American, I don't think there's any bigger miracle for me that occurred than this little movie that was made 25 years ago uh, here in this field, and uh, I want to thank Bob Costas, who is, you know, without notes or prompting, has managed to pull this thing together to ask us questions that have a certain relevance to you, but really what we want to do is enjoy a movie and, and kind of snuggle up. So thank you for going to the movies all these years. Thank you for going to my movies. Thank you for coming here tonight. And uh, for those who aren't here, they don't really know what they're missing. Kevin Costner in Phil Alden Robinson and your Field of Dreams.